Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we are looking west of and if you're in the far western parts of Hamilton County or over there into southeast Indiana, know it's not your imagination. The skies are getting darker. These are actually some downpours and thunderstorms which are migrating their way across the area towards the Ohio Indiana state line. And you can see them here from Brookville back over towards Versailles with some thunder and lightning. The good news this activity is not severe, but do expect some briefly heavy downpours and maybe some thunder and lightning with this. The farther east you are, it's a lot drier and it will probably stay that way through the evening hours. Now you can see this cluster of showers and storms, how it's slowly building its way towards the Indiana Ohio state line. So if you're watching us from Harrison and you're looking west, those skies are certainly quite dark. Now as you head over towards Sunman, good downpours over towards Versailles and Napoleon at this hour, also building up towards the Brookville area on the southwest side of Brookville over towards Cedar Grove and Oak Forest. Again, 10 15 minute locally heavy downpours. These storms continue to march their way off towards the east, so keep a close eye on them. They could certainly impact now, it appears, maybe western parts of the greater Cincinnati metro closer to the Indiana Ohio state line. It's really a race against time. Same story in northern Kentucky. These showers spotty are moving up towards the 71 75 split south of Crittenden. As the sun begins to set here over the next hour or two, these showers and downpours will gradually begin to fade. So it's really a race against time. I don't think everyone sees rain. I don't think there's a whole lot of rain across the area, but certainly some spotty downpours are expected. So through seven o'clock, warm sun with storms south and west. Temperatures in the mid 80s by nine o'clock. It's muggy and those downpours should be fading by then. And then by 11, the rain should be out of here with muggy conditions conditions and temperatures holding in the 70s. 85 degrees right now at the airport. Look at our dew point solidly into the mid 60s. So the air has become noticeably more uncomfortable out there, and that's the reason why we're dealing with pop up showers and storms now that the muggy weather has basically returned where it hasn't rained and you can clearly see that temperatures are in the upper 80s, even pushing 90 91 here in Batavia 88 Alexandria Walton there, but you can see the effects of the rain cooled air. So if you get a shower this evening, expect those temperatures to fall a couple of degrees. There's a better shot for more widespread showers and storms tomorrow as this cold front pushes into the Ohio Valley, interacts with the heat and humidity of the afternoon. I think storms will be a little more widespread. Futurecast has it here that those downpours should begin to fade over the next couple of hours. But again, it's kind of a wait and see how far east they actually make it. I do think west and southwest parts of the metro may see some downpours before they fade. Should be quiet overnight once those downpours go away. Muggy start to your Thursday, and then as the cold front bears down on the Ohio River, showers and storms will likely fire again, especially south and east of Interstate 71. And then those fade tomorrow night. We get a break in here on Friday. We are going to see the weather pattern change where we've had a taste of summer as of late. Notice how the jet stream begins to buckle and we start seeing cooler air spill into the Ohio Valley. That will be the forecast for the weekend and heading into next week. It's back to spring versus summer. So tonight, evening storms, partly cloudy later, 65 for a low. And then for tomorrow, muggy sunshine with another round of scattered afternoon and evening storms will be in the low 80s. Here's your day planner. 67 at 8 a.m., closing in on 80 by lunchtime, and then storms through the afternoon and evening. Here's your seven day forecast. Notice we're in the 80s on Friday, but then there's your drop in temperatures on Saturday, which looks pretty wet right now. Highs will be in the 70s next week, and the nights cooler into the 50s. All right, mid 80s and muggy 